Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. If you've seen my videos, you know that I believe that data science projects are the key to landing a job. Today, I'll be talking about the projects that landed me my first data science opportunity. I wish I knew how important projects were back when I was first applying, and luckily the field was a little bit less competitive back then, and I was able to land a position. Most of these projects I did as part of my classes, but nowadays that just won't cut it. You generally need to have four to five high quality data science projects in your GitHub or your Kaggle to really put your best foot forward. After looking back, I'd hope that the quality of my work has improved by leaps and bounds since I made these. If you wanna learn more about the specifics of data science projects, watch the video that I've linked above. That was my first real big video on data science projects, and I think it's the best resource that I have out there on the subject. As usual, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content at the intersection of data science and sports analytics, please subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. The first project that I did was about basketball, and I was actually required to upload it to my YouTube by my professor. You can also see it linked in the description below. In it, I wanted to try to predict wins over the course of an NBA season. To understand the data better, I ran a principal component analysis to see which variables were related. This is a far cry, again, from the quality of my sports analytics work now, but it showed that, that I was actually interested in the field. And in this project, I actually used R, which for my viewers is probably a bit shocking. The focus of this project was to help a team understand how much a new player coming onto that team could impact the number of expected wins over the course of a season. The second analysis that I ran was for one of my deep learning courses. I learned that recurrent neural nets were practical for predicting time series data, so I used one to try to predict the price of different cryptocurrencies. This made for a very interesting and relevant project, however my model didn't actually end up performing as well as I would have hoped. This also happens to be on my YouTube linked in the description and also linked above. The third project that I did was based on Ultimate Fighting Championship data. I wanted to see if I could build a model that could predict which fighters would win when the fight went to a decision. This is probably more relevant now that the UFC and boxing judges have taken a lot of heat for calling matches really, really poorly. I ran all sorts of different classification models, but literally all of them, they just sucked. <laughs> all of my models producing bad results were actually inherently just as interesting as them producing good results. My eventual conclusion was that decisions in the UFC were relatively arbitrary. and that the problem might lie in the UFC judging itself. Although my models were inaccurate and some would say bad, employers thought that this additional insight was extremely, extremely interesting. The fourth project that I had on my resume was on professional golfers. I wanted to see if I could cluster them based on their performance in the key areas of the game. So that would be driving, iron play, chipping, and putting. I wanted to see if again we could cluster these players and if these clusters would be able to predict how they would play on different golf courses. As it turns out, these clusters were very interesting, but they were an awful predictor of actual performance. Again, this project didn't produce the results that I wanted, but I inherently learned something in the process. As you can see, all of these projects were relatively unique and they aligned with my personal interests. Some would also say that some of these projects actually ended in failure. And that's actually true, you know, but what was important is that I was able to understand why the projects failed and was able to think about the continued research that was possible from that finding. What employers liked is that I thought about who might actually be using these results and I was still able to create value from any of the information that I gathered. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.